Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Garrig and today from Hunky Dory Crafts we've got some fantastic Moonstone cutting dies. This is the Seasons Greetings Tags die set and this is the Falling Snowflakes frames and this is what those sweet tags look like. I can't wait to show you what else my friend Debbie came up with so come back and play with us. So this is what these sweet little tag dies look like. There are four of them, and then each one has a little like center embellishment, and then they give you a couple extra. This looks like some mistletoe and some packages. I love this collection. Each tag has some words on it. Um, warm wishes, ho, 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 season's greetings. And these are the papers that Debbie used to create, her five by six and a half inch card. This is the 12 by 12, Pattern cardstock Christmas aglow with the solid coordinating cardstock. As you can see here, she used the one with this nice little border down the side, and it's got this great Christmas plaid. And then she used the solid cardstock to create her tags. There's lots of layering going on with each tag. And then she used some red ribbon from our red ribbon collection to top each tag. For the little gifts here, she die cut those from white cardstock, and then the top part of the, um, and then, well actually she die cut them from green cardstock, backed them in white cardstock, and then she used um, a red pen just to color in all those little stripes and things. Go! Oh. All right, so let's get on to the snow, this is this falling snowflakes frame. There's actually two frames here and then a greeting, and then some individual snowflakes. For this first card, Debbie made a beautiful shaker card. Isn't that cool? And this is, of course, a slimline card, so it's eight and a half by three and a half. And the papers that she used, Snowfall Paper Pack, okay, beautiful. And then she also used, for this frame right here, which is the inner frame, She used white glitter cardstock to die cut the frame, and then she backed the frame with some acetate, golly, which I think I forgot to grab. Anyway, you can buy it by the sheet from Paper Wishes, and then she glued the acetate behind the frame, and then put thin layers of foam tape. There's two layers, one on stacked on top of the other, behind that little frame, so you would wanna take our roll of foam tape here. And then what we like to do is just measure how long we wanna cut that, roughly. And then what you're going to do is this cut those, I like to cut it into thirds. And for this frame, you might even wanna cut it into quarters. And then you're putting layers of that foam tape on the back, and then go back and do another layer and then she filled that sweet little shaker card with, these are, what are these called? Blizzard, that's right. These are Blizzard sequins, and they are so pretty. Let me show you what these look like. There's regular sequins, and then there's snowflake sequins in there. That's cute. They make great shaker material for your card. And then she put more acetate on the back of this so that it made kind of an acetate sandwich. And then she glued the outside edges to the card front. And this one, as you can see, has the little Noel tag there. I love that. And she stacked those little individual snowflakes on there. So cute. She did a great job. Um, on the top here, it said, let it snow. And those are from our little Christmas greeting dazzle stickers. It's a combination of these little tiny Christmas word dazzles, like these silver ones, and then you also get script dazzles in there. So it's a wonderful collection. All right, so this last project is a stunner. This one, Debbie used the largest frame right here. And this one she made, this is a sweet little like photo frame. That beautiful now yes it could be a card topper um, but she used some, some cardboard and this frame measures five and a quarter by seven and a quarter so it is a little large to put in a standard photo frame however you could put this um, you could make your own little frame and put a little cardboard stand behind it 
Um, you could put magnets on it and make it sort of a giant fridge magnet. There's lots of things that you could do that, as I said, also beautiful for the front of a card. Make your own photo card. So for this one, Debbie used some beautiful gold, beautiful metallic gold paper, and some beautiful blue suede. If you're not familiar with our suede paper, it's fabric on one side, it has beautiful suede texture, and then on the back, it's got paper. I mean, <laughs> yeah, paper. And it die cuts beautifully, you guys, beautifully. And then she added some of these beautiful hunky-dory, these are gold studs, and she just topped, there's three different sizes, and she just topped her little snowflakes with those. But then also, from these um, classic pearl border, these are adhesive gemstone roll. And this beautiful roll of pearls. We have these in all different kinds of color schemes. And you can either use these as a border and you take off the whole adhesive back like that, or you can just pluck off individual pearls, which is what Debbie used. And then glued those right to the beautiful front of this gorgeous frame. That is really beautiful. She did a great job. And you guys, <clears throat> we have a fantastic money saver on this collection of dies, so I would really encourage you to check that out. I clean up my little sequins here. So um, the money saver is on the right-hand side of our screen, and I uh, would really encourage you to check that out. And then listed down below the video, we have full color photos of our cards. If you click on those, it'll give you the whole supply list. And even down below that, we have all the items are listed individually, so if you can add them directly into your cart, if you're interested in shopping for one or two items. If you're watching us on YouTube, look below the video in the description box. And hey, while you're there, give us a thumbs up. It really helps people find our channel and subscribe because we do four to five of these videos a week and we wouldn't want you to miss a thing. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.